Defendingliberty number 3030. Defending Liberty one hour at a time and broadcasting from the RWB Network Studios in New York. This is the Rhino Report. Always right. Uh, let's get ready to rumble. We will not turn. We will not falter. And we will not fail. Son, your ego is... The leader in talk radio on the Internet, right here on K98talk.com. When our water heater broke down last month, it was a nightmare. It took five hours for the plumber to show up, and he charged us a couple of hundred bucks just to come out. Then it cost another $1,800 to put in the new water heater. By the time it was all said and done, I felt like I'd been taken. But what else could I do? The smartest thing you can do is get a home warranty from American Residential Warranty. Their home warranties pay to repair or replace all your major appliances when they break. And they will break. And at the worst possible time, call American Residential Warranty right now for free information on home warranties starting at just pennies a day. Don't wait for your refrigerator to stop running or your ceiling fans to stop turning. Call American Residential Warranty right now. Ask how you can save up to 50% on washing and dryer coverage. Just call 1-800-513-6154. That's 1-800-513-6154. Again, 1-800-513-6154. Call now. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-516-7602 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-516-7602 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-516-7602. That's 1-800-516-7602. Again, 1-800-516-7602. In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 800-696-1030. Again, 800-696-1030. That's 800-696-1030. 800-696-1030. All right, folks, this is Rick Robinson with you. I want to tell you about some friends of mine from a company called Security Enforcement Specialists. When I ran my security agency for 12 years, I worked with one of these partners on a daily basis. He's been involved in this agency now, and with his other partner, they do have over 30 years of experience in the private security industry. If you own a business 
and you need someone to keep you or your customers or residents safe, then I highly recommend contacting security enforcement specialists today. Give them a call at 405-703-1796. Again, that's 405-703-1796. Again, tell them Rick from K98 Talk sent you. Like I said, if you need the help, they are here for you, so make sure that you... Uh, Go look them up, check them out, and see what they can do. The wrong way. Welcome to the place. Welcome to the place. Joe had huge problems with the IRS. I knew it was coming. I hadn't filed taxes since 1990. All the IRS letters coming in added up to a nightmare. It got up to like $68,000. My heart started beating fast. It's like, there's no way, man. I mean, I ain't going to be able to do this. Then they stopped his paycheck. So that's when I started making phone calls and found U.S. Tax Shield. U.S. Tax Shield went to work immediately. They just took the bull by the horns. What blew my mind is he called the IRS right then and there. So why is U.S. Tax Shield A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau? Joe knows. They saved me a ridiculous amount of money. If you owe more than $10,000 to the IRS or state, choose the company Joe chose, U.S. Tax Shield. It was the best decision I made. U.S. Tax Shield is the way to go. Life is good. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Call 800-471-3287. U.S. Tax Shield. boo raw. Yes. <laughs> 800-471-3287. 800-471-3287. The Internet will never be the same. You're listening to K98talk.com. Writing checks your body can't cash. She got chunked. You are very rude. We are going to make America great again. And now, here's your host, the Rhino. The new sheriff in town. Hello, hello, hello. I am the Rhino, and this is my report. Today, Monday, June 27th, 2016, and we're coming to you from the hot and sticky RWB Network Studios in New York and live on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, did you guys see the Game of Thrones season finale last night? If you haven't seen it, you need to watch this. You need to watch the whole thing. You gotta watch the whole series, get caught up, binge watch it, whatever you're gonna do, because this season was great. Absolutely great. No more character building and this stuff that went on for like three or four seasons. Finally, they're off the books. The guy couldn't write the books fast enough. HBO had to say, you know what, enough of this. We gotta make a good show, and they did. This season really, really delivered. So, I'm not gonna give away anything. No spoilers here. Um, but things are starting to finally churn a little bit, and you're starting to see the characters do what they were supposed to do from the beginning. So, all right, enough Game of Thrones talk. We have politics today, lots and lots of politics. So, first off, while those in England chose freedom last week, there are other members of the UK who are happily willing to be controlled by unelected officials. Also, nine years... After its last decision on abortion, the Supreme Court once again bends the rules to uphold unsafe medical practices. And for the fourth time in as many elections, Democrats vote to change their position on abortion. And this time, this time it affects your wallet. All that, plus we have new polls that continue to show a sampling bias towards Hillary Clinton. I want to talk about those in depth. And, hey, guess what? Bribery is now allowed in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Supreme Court said it's okay. No worries, guys. Bribe away. All that, plus we'll get to the Rhino Mailbag if we have time. We'll try to do it like we always do. Hopefully we get to it today. But first, let's kick the show off. Let's kick the week off the same way we always do with a salute to our country, with a pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As always, if you're sick of me saying the Pledge of Allegiance, you say, give me a little 10, 15 second break. I'd appreciate it. It's a lot of talking on this show. And in the meantime, you can always head over to rhinoreport.com, rhinoreport.com. New articles, one of them getting a lot of attention this weekend, a lot of attention, a lot of retweets, a lot of favorites. People are reading it. Um, so go check that out. It's the newest one by Tina. And if you want to write for the show, or if you want to write for the Rhino Report, you can write for the show too if you want. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, send me your submission. 
Rhino, R-Y-N-O, at RWB Network. Dot com and we'll check it out. I have three or four I still have to read. I'll get back to you guys. I promise I will get back to you. If not today, then definitely tomorrow. And as always, you can subscribe or follow this show on iTunes or TuneIn or Spreaker, Stitcher, Podbean, iHeartRadio, all over the place. And now we have a new online affiliate. So those listening on K98 Talk, that's, hey guys, welcome aboard. K98Talk.com to hear the show at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, guys, we have to talk about Brexit, we have to talk about polls, we have to talk about so much stuff, because freedom in Europe, well, it's sort of a, sort of not there anymore, and some people, they just don't want to be free. Hang in there, guys. You're listening to the Rhino Report. We'll be back blood in 60 seconds. Blood tends to run higher during the day and lower during nighttime sleep. However, many with high blood pressure don't exhibit this nighttime dip, a condition called non-dipping. More in today's AARP Health Tip after this. At Walgreens, getting diabetes testing supplies with Medicare Part B is a walk in the park. Really? Because getting what you need is quick and easy, giving you more time for other things. There's zero dollars out of pocket on all major brands like AccuCheck and Walgreens TrueMetrics, and no extra paperwork. So managing diabetes becomes a stroll down Easy Street, or a trip to the movies, or even a day at the beach. Talk to your pharmacist today. Walgreens at the corner of Happy and Healthy. Zero out of pocket costs when billed to Medicare and full coverage supplemental insurance. Non dipping is a major risk factor for stroke, heart attack, and kidney disease. But studies show taking one or more of your prescribed blood pressure medications just before bedtime significantly decreases the risk. Of course, never change the timing of your medications without first consulting your doctor. For more, go to AARP.org. All right, guys, welcome back to the show here. A quick 60, now we're off and running. You know, last week, I told you a story about there was a a, uh, a guy who tried to break into a home in uh, Oregon, in the Portland, Oregon area, and not only did he try to break in, but he was also naked when he climbed through the window, and the homeowner responded by shooting this person, and now this intruder just happened to be a former Detroit Lions cornerback. Uh, his career ended like I don't know seven or eight years ago. Injuries, so now he's become he's gone from being a professional football player to a professional criminal. Um, that's not a jump that the NFL is too unfamiliar with, but you know it's very weird. Almost 48 hours later, the same exact thing happened three houses away from mine. Three houses away. I woke up in the morning and there were just cop cars everywhere. Everywhere. Now, here on Long Island, it's a changing demographic and it's 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 not the safest place like it used to be. Um, so this is not all that uncommon. But it was the same thing. This guy crawled through a window and wound up robbing one of my neighbors, took their car keys, and wound up stealing the car too. Now, of course, the police have no idea who did it because... They only use my street as a cut through to Dunkin' Donuts, but maybe they'll figure out who it is. But it was just so odd. I, I, I didn't really understand that the window entrance was the main preferred entrance. The homeowner was sleeping, and um, she's elderly, and did not hear the person break in. So I guess uh, lock your windows, guys. If it was my house, this guy, it would have been a totally different outcome. Totally different. <laughs> it would have had a big hole in him by the time I was finished with him. But... Off he goes in a brand new car. Well, brand new to him anyway. Hopefully the police catch him. Let's um, let's talk about Brexit. All right. I know everyone's talking about Brexit, and it really, leading up to the vote, it was a rather boring story. It didn't, you know, didn't tickle the cockles at all. So no one really wanted to talk about it. And then as it started to seem like it looked like Great Britain would would vote to leave the European Union, it started getting a little bit more attention. Now over. On that side of the pond, this has been a big deal for a long time. It's been a long time coming. Uh, last Friday, we saw the Dow close down 611 points, and that's not totally unexpected. Uh, you know, there's uncertainty, and uncertainty is is what or certainty is what drives the market. You think it's going to do well, or you think it's not going to do well. You go long, or you go short. And well, people were going short. And it drove the market down 611 points, and it lost about $2 trillion in volume. That's, you know, listen, that's all, that's calculated by inflation. So there's, it's not like there's less money in the market now, okay? Uh, there can be that same amount of money in the market with a Dow Jones at 15000 
you don't have to be at 18,000 to have that extra $2 trillion in the market. Now, European Union leaders are using, well, they're urging the UK to speed up this process of trying to negotiate their exit from the European Union. Uh, Originally, Prime Minister Cameron had said that he would like to wait until October before he officially resigned, and then the negotiation process could start after that. Well, it sounds like it sounds like a lot of people over there in Europe would like this process to start quicker. Um, they think that will even out the market. I don't believe that to be the case, but they seem to. So, Prime Minister Cameron will begin the process of negotiations very, very soon. How this resonates with his party, I don't know. That I don't know. Um, prominent members of the Leave campaign that won, they're staying pretty quiet. A lot of the voices you've been hearing lately are those who were opposed to it, the stay people, who were saying this was a bad decision, they never should have done it. Um, the Leave people are kind of letting it play out. Now, Boris Johnson, who's the former mayor of London and who people think will take over Cameron's spot... He said in an article in The Telegraph that, um, well, all of the negative consequences that the state people are throwing out there, that they're largely exaggerated. And that's probably true. Remember, London, or not London, England, has the fifth biggest economy in the world. Fifth biggest. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, it's not unexpected that the state people and media are trying to exaggerate the consequences. This this vote was a move towards nationalism and patriotism. And there's no room, there's no room in a progressive agenda or mainstream media, even in Europe, for anything like that. Nothing. It's a bad word, it's a four-letter word to them. Nationalism, exceptionalism, patriotism. They're all four-letter words to these people. Now, despite the world leaders and, well, the Remain people or the Stay people in the UK, the Patriots came out and they told them where to stick it. They told mainstream media in the United Kingdom where to stick it. They don't like that, so they're going to come back and they're going to come back hard. This Brexit was a decisive vote against control. That's what it was. You got three people in Brussels that control the EU, and they're not even elected. I'm surprised this didn't happen a long time ago. Now, despite an online petition with three million signatures demanding a revote, the loudest voice in the room right now seems to be coming from Scotland, of all people. Now, the Scots voted by a margin of 62% to stay with the European Union. Of course, they are part of the United Kingdom. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said she would consider advising the Scottish Parliament uh, to use their power by withholding consent of the Brexit. She says they won't vote for something (laughs) that is against Scotland's best interest. Now, the way the UK is set up Scotland cannot block the Brexit. This is rhetoric. It's narrative. They can't block it. Simply by withholding consent. That's not how it works over there. Neither can Northern Ireland. They can't block anything. They can voice an opinion. They can voice an opposition. But they can't block anything. But this is what happens when you choose... To not be free. In 2014, Scotland voted overwhelmingly, just about, to remain a part of the UK. That's what they voted for. They did not want their independence. They could have had their freedom. But the progressive left scared people into thinking that breaking away from the UK would leave them a third world country. So they decided to stay. You know, they invoked the old battered wife syndrome. Hey, listen, this stinks over here, but you're nothing without them. That's what they did. I mean, England has been beating the tar out of Scotland for centuries. 
centuries, but they stayed with them and they, they fought against them and lives were lost. But they decided to stay anyway. You know, but now, now they're talking about maybe voting for freedom again. Just to join the EU afterwards. Can you believe these people? They don't want to be free. They want someone to control them. It's the 14th richest country in the world, and they still want to be controlled by somebody else. You know, you have to earn freedom in order to deserve it. Is it possible the Scots just don't deserve it? Now that they want to be a part of something bigger, something else? I don't know. We're going to keep talking about this, and Northern Ireland has something to say about it, too. We're going to talk about them. We have a lot to get to. Hang in there. You're listening to the Rhino Report on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Experience a luxury boutique hotel escape in the heart of Laguna Beach, California, with the finest art gallery, shopping, dining, and nightlife just steps from your door. The heart of Laguna Beach, the edge of the sea. It's the Inn at Laguna Beach. Enjoy our comfortable rooms, blending the style of a timeless beach bungalow with the modern comforts of today. 70 newly appointed guest rooms and suites await you at the Inn at Laguna Beach. Then, relax at the rooftop bar, where you'll indulge in breathtaking views of the ocean. For dining, you'll find libations and local cuisine on the California coastline, including dining at the legendary Las Brisas, a Southern California landmark. The Inn at Laguna Beach. Footsteps from room to village to sea, located in the heart of Laguna Beach. The Inn is within walking distance of all that Laguna Beach has to offer. No car required. The Inn at Laguna Beach, 211 North Coast Highway in Laguna Beach, California. Call 800-544-4479 or visit innatlagunabeach.com. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help you can always get fast help and fast answers so on your next trip maybe today maybe tomorrow how about right now pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent in your plane reservation so call right now 800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644-800-915-2644 CRN listeners, when you come to Southern California, stop by a great restaurant, the Dresden Restaurant at 1760 North Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Enjoy great entertainment, like the music of the legendary Marty and Elaine at the world-famous Dresden Restaurant. The Dresden was a location for the making of the movie Swingers. Now you can swing with stars Marty and Elaine. Plus, enjoy great food, too, like French onion soup, artichoke hearts, and many other great appetizers. Seafood? There's salmon, shrimp scampi, New Zealand orange roughy, halibut, Lake Superior whitefish, and specialties like veal marsala, piccata, and parmigiana. Plus, we've got a great roast rack of lamb, chicken piccata, and cordon bleu, and pasta dishes, too. Steaks? Filet. New York. Chateaubriand for two. Much more, too, including pork chops, prime rib of beef, and an incredibly extra large cut of prime rib. It's the Dresden Restaurant, open for lunch Monday through Saturday and dinner Monday through Sunday. Check us out at 1760 North Vermont Avenue or call 323-665-4294. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rhino Report here. We're talking about the Brexit and the fallout it's having and some of the louder voices in the room uh, in, well, Scotland, uh, for, for that matter. They, um... They are saying they may hold another referendum for freedom or to break away from the United Kingdom just to join the EU. Now, they had their chance in 2014, and, they, and they've and they voted it down. Uh, the, the British Parliament had said, fine, if you guys want to be free, have a vote, and that's that. We'll separate. We'll, we'll make a nice, easy transition. We get it. And they voted not to. They voted to be controlled. Uh, because they were scared of their economy plunging. You know, now, all of a sudden, they're not scared of the economy plunging at all. They think it's going to plunge if they remain attached to the world's fifth largest economy. Tell me where that kind of reasoning comes in. But, um, so now they're talking about maybe another one. And I don't get it. I I said last week on the show, 
I said, given a choice, people would rather be free. And I never thought I'd be wrong with that statement. I thought that was a truthful statement. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. So they're going to vote again, it sounds like. And, uh, well, they'll leave the UK just to join the EU. I mean, it's like, which, I don't know, doesn't make any sense to me. Now, Northern Ireland, they are, well, they're not thrilled about the Brexit. They're not thrilled about it. But they're taking it more with a wait-and-see approach. They just want to make sure that their trade and security deals with the EU nations, they stay in place. Some people are starting to suggest that if Scotland goes, and maybe if Northern Ireland has a vote at some point, they probably will never vote to break away from the UK. But some people are starting to, are starting to suggest that this could be the end of the UK. There could be a total breakup going on here. But make no mistake... Scotland and Northern Ireland cannot make it economically on their own right now. Even though Scotland is the 14th richest country, it has a very, very low population. That's what brings that number up. It's kind of, it's not really a, a good number to follow. They would be negative growth from day one. From day one. Negative GDP. And they would need to join the EU. Again, adding more boat anchors to the EU. You just lost a tugboat, right? That's how the EU works. You have four or five countries that are that are very powerful economically, and the other 25 aren't. So you just lost a tugboat, and you're going to be adding two more boat anchors. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Northern Ireland right now, they're in the middle of a jobless economy. Job growth is down a half a percent last year. And their growth is under 2% as a part of the UK. Under 2%. You break away, automatic negative. Automatic. Hands down. Not even close. Now, as an economy goes, Scotland's economy is ranked 57th in the world. 57th. Not quite middle. little little towards, you know, the northern part of middle, but you're going to trade, as the EU, you're going to trade the fifth largest economy for a country with 2% growth and the 57th largest economy? It doesn't work. Again, this is why globalist economic unions are not viable. Eventually, somebody, usually the major contributor, gets pissed off and they leave. It's a form of global socialism is what it is. It's a great idea until you run out of other people's money. And that's what's happening here. If Northern Ireland and Scotland were to break free and they were to join the EU separately as two separate nations, they would be saddled, saddled with millions and millions of refugees because that's what it would have to take. The EU would have to say, fine, you can come join us, but you're going to get six million refugees. And that... That would plunge them now into a third world economy. Because they don't bring enough to the table. They're nice places. Scotland looks beautiful. But their number one export is tourism. That doesn't work. That's not a viable economy. So they would be saddled with all of these refugees. Because that's what it would take. The EU would make them do that. Now do you think the people in Northern Ireland would like that? The people in Scotland would like that? All of a sudden, their farms are getting confiscated and low-income housing is getting put up all over the place. Maybe Trump would lose his golf course. <laughs> Some of you would like that, maybe. But, but, it's their choice. I will always choose to be free. I will never choose anything but that. And it's mind-blowing to me how people would choose anything but that. They'll do anything in their power to not be responsible, to not be free. You have to take a little dip economically for a year or two? Fine. That happened in this country. Do you think our economy thrived after the 1770s? No. No. We almost collapsed. We almost were a dumpster fire here in this country. But look at us now. The number one economy in the world. That's us. It took a little while. You gotta hang in there. Alright guys, we'll be back in... 
a couple minutes, you're listening to the Rhino Report on CRN Digital. Talk Radio. Healthcare deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Mm -hmm. They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now... Very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, then call or go online to get the free help you need during this turbulent time. Call now, 800-471-5173, 800-471-5173. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live Agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% in your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. This is Larry Minetti for her Panacin, the acne medication that really works from the inside out. If you suffer from skin problems, Herpanacin is the most unique and effective formula on the market. It cleans your skin from the inside out and gets rid of all kinds of acne and blemishes on your back, neck, and your face. It works so well, you can look and feel like a movie star. Herpanacin, a natural supplement created by Dr. Wayne Diamond. You take a pill, and that's it. I've been on these supplements, and they really work, folks. Don't be afraid to look in the mirror ever again. Get Herpanacin today. Day. Call 888-467-4200. That's 888-467-4200. For Panison, it really works. 888-467-4200. Tell them Larry Minetti told you to call and look and feel like a million bucks with her Panison. Call 888-467-4200. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rhino Report. I am your host and your friend on this Monday afternoon. You know, they said on Friday that the number one Googled question was uh, coming out of out of Great Britain, how to obtain an Irish visa, <laughs> how to move to Ireland. Isn't that crazy? I, I kind of wish it worked that way here, right? All these people that are saying that they're going to leave if Donald Trump wins, that they actually did it. Now, I don't think these people will actually go there, and who knows if the Irish government will even allow this many visas. And, you know, who would want that? Who would want that in their country? Dependents. People who are dependent on government. Now, the Irish government, it does sway back and forth, progressive, conservative. It's been doing it for years like everybody else. 
currently right now, it's a little progressive. But who would want that in your country? People who are going to depend on a larger entity, who don't want to make it on their own. I deny all of them, every single one of them. But someone will take them. Someone will take them. But I, I wish it was that way here. I wish it was that way. Oh, Trump wins. We're going to Canada. <laughs> Grab a jacket. Have fun. Have at it. Get out of here. Canada will gladly take you. They'll gladly take you. All right. Um. So Supreme Court is starting to throw some decisions down now. This is probably their last day before they go on summer recess. You know, these politicians and stuff, they get nice recesses. They get to go away for a while. You know, two weeks, a month, vacation. It's a nice gig. It's a nice gig. Um, well, they ruled uh, 5-3 today in favor of striking down a Texas law that would help women seek an abortion, who are seeking an abortion, doing it uh, to do it in a safe manner. The law required uh, abortion clinics to become certified as ambulatory surgery centers. It also uh, required them to be subject to the same regulations as hospitals in Texas. And doctors who perform abortions would have had to retain admitting rights at a local hospital. The nerve of these people. The nerve to make sure they're actually following regulation and trained and have a proper class tax classification the nerve of this, these people in Texas to do this to look out for those women who are seeking an abortion you know it, it sounds like the same procedure any doctor would have to go through who takes out tonsils or an appendix right it sounds kind of the same no Supreme Court says this um, this makes it harder for people to obtain an abortion so they struck it down 5-3. Uh, proponents of the law said it would provide uh, better air and better safety, which makes a whole lot of sense to me. Those opposing the law said it was uh, it was a roadblock to getting an abortion. If you want to get an abortion, you shouldn't have to follow rules. You should just go and do it. And Maybe the Supreme Court can approve like a back alley abortion thing maybe next time around. They continually, continually bend the rules when it comes to abortion. Supreme Court has been doing it for years, for years. This was their first decision in, in nine years, actually, on the topic. Justices uh, Breyer, Bader Ginsburg, go figure, Sotomayor, uh, Kagan, and Kennedy, who is typically a swing voter, voted to strike down this law in Texas. Judges uh, or Justices Roberts, Alito, and uh, Clarence Thomas all dissented because they have properly screwed on heads. Um, let's see, here's the, um, here's the statement. Here's the statement. It says, we agree with the uh, district court that surgical center requirements, like the admitting privileges requirement, provide few, if any, health benefits for women, uh, possess a substantial obstacle to women seeking abortions, and, uh, constitutes an undue burden on their constitutional right to do so. That was written by Justice Breyer. Now, Hillary Clinton, she loves this. She loves this. She says this was a victory for women, but there's more work to be done. She says the fight isn't over. The next president has to protect women's health. Women won't be punished for exercising their basic rights. And that's from Hillary Clinton on Twitter. She uses Twitter uh, pretty terribly sometimes. Remember her tweet, delete your account? <laughs> She's such an idiot. Um, well, not totally unsurprising. It, it's really not. Um, but this comes at a good time right now for Democrats because they're about to change their party platform on abortion. Uh, so a, a, a Democrat changing changing what they want to do. I get it. They do this all the time. They do it all the time. They, uh, well, they want to change the party platform. Well, here's the press release. Their new platform, it says, um, goes further than previous Democratic platforms on women's reproductive rights. It champions planned parenthood health centers and commits to pushback on all Republican efforts to defund it. The platform also vows to oppose and seek to overturn all federal and state laws that impede a woman's access to abortion, including by repealing the Hyde Amendment. That's in a press release from the Democrat Party. 
No, they've changed their views on abortion over the years. Um, those of you who aren't familiar with the Hyde Amendment, the Hyde Amendment is, is what uh, restricts the use of public money to fund an abortion. So you can't use public money to fund an abortion. Now, they want to get rid of that. They think public money should be used to fund an abortion. That's what this statement says. I mean, it's black and white. It's black and white. Um, so in 1996, when Bill Clinton was running for re-election, he said, uh, the goal is to make abortion less less necessary and more rare. Okay. I think a lot of people could agree with that statement. In 2004, John Kerry, when he was running for president, said, abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. Again, maybe a little shift. There people the wheels kind of came off and Barack Obama uh, when he was running his first first term the party platform was the Democratic Party strongly and unequivocally supports Roe vs. Wade and a woman's right to choose a safe and legal abortion regardless of their ability to pay and we oppose any and all efforts to weaken or undermine that right and uh, that's the same language they used in 2012. So they were setting the stage. But you go back to 96, and Bill Clinton says, hey, it should be uh, less necessary and more rare. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. The wheels have totally come off the Democrat Party. Um, but they want to fund Planned Parenthood. You should never fund something that makes money. You get a subsidy to help you because you help people. But they turn a profit. No one turning a profit should get government money. That makes no sense whatsoever. We're going to talk about this and another Supreme Court decision when we come back. You're listening to the Rhino Report on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California for authentic family-style Italian dinners. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate your party or event in one of our festive banquet rooms. Angelo's and Vinci's, Fullerton, California, 550 North Harbor Boulevard. Named the Orange County Hot List Top 5 Italian Restaurant for seven years in a row. And a Top 10 Pizza Restaurant by Gale, featuring traditional and award-winning pizzas. Offering Sunday champagne brunch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., just $16.95. Choose from over 20 items plus great your own personal omelet. Delicious lunches, including our express lunch buffet, eight ninety five with over fifteen items, and dinner seven days a week. Getting married? Angels and Vinci's won this year's Wedding Wire Couples Choice Award. You can talk to our experienced staff of wedding coordinators. We treat you as guests at your own wedding reception. It's all at Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it. You could junk it. Or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a nonprofit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free Free three-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now. 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. All right, guys, welcome back. We're talking about some of the Supreme Court decisions that have come down in the last, I don't know, four or five, six hours. Now, this is like the best job in the world, being a Supreme Court justice, I mean. Um, well, being on radio is pretty cool, too, but they work, like, what, 12 days out of a year? Like, they don't work that much. They, they render decisions, what is it, like once a month, something like that? I mean, there's a schedule, but it's it's not often. It's not often. They, they hear a case, like, in January. They decide on it in June. What the hell are they doing for six months? Anyway, they have a lot of decisions coming out because uh, they're going to take a little break, a little R&R for the old justices there. And, uh, well, they said now it's okay. In a unanimous decision, they have said it's okay. Bribery is totally fine. You can bribe politicians all you'd like. 
It's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. In 2014, a jury convicted former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell of accepting over $165,000 in bribes in exchange for political favors. Now, these bribes were received, um, or, or they were given to him uh, from a Star Scientific Incorporated CEO, Johnny Williams. Now, McDonald says all he did was set up a few meetings with some power players. No big deal. Nothing. He didn't do anything. He didn't enact any legislation here based on the bribes. He just set up some meetings. Just meetings with politicians, high-level state people. That's all. People you can't normally access because why would you have any reason to access your elected official? There's just no room for that. So, um, the the SCOTUS agrees uh, unanimously that this is not a misuse of his office. Well, during these these bribes, uh, there was some cool stuff that went back and forth. Twenty thousand dollars in desi- twenty thousand dollars in designer clothing for McDonald's wife. I guess she looks good now. A sixty five hundred dollar Rolex watch. Rolex, not Romex. They did not get it on Forty Second Street in Manhattan. Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand dollars. Johnny Johnny Williams paid for the catering. At McDonald's daughter's wedding, fifteen thousand dollars. What are you eating? What costs fifteen thousand dollars at a wedding? The steak's terrible. The fish is terrible. The chicken's even worse. And if you're buying vegetarian plates, it's just grass. What are you paying for fifteen thousand dollars? Oh, they also gave the McDonald's some free family vacations and a golf vacation for the kids, and some loans. No big deal. This there's nothing wrong with this, guys. Go ahead and bribe any politician you want. There's no problem here. Unanimous decision. Well, <laughs> I guess looking out for their own best interests, maybe. Um, all right, let's get into some polls because we have to talk about polls. And uh, these are important because you're going to be hearing a lot about them in the next, well, couple of days. This is a uh, an NBC Wall Street Journal poll taken from June 19th to June 23rd. A thousand voters 450 of these uh, were on cell phones. There's a plus or minus margin of error of 3.1%. Hillary at 46, Trump at 41. You add in the law firm Johnson and Stein, and you're at 39 for Hillary, 38 for Trump, 10 for Johnson, 6 for Stein. Hillary wins African Americans in this NBC Wall Street Journal poll, 87.5. She wins Latinos, 69.22. The 18 to 34 vote, 53 to 30, goes to Hillary, and women, 52 to 35. Trump wins in this one. He gets the white vote, 49 37. That's a net plus 12 there. He wins men, 48 38, so a net plus 10. And he wins independents, 40 30. This is Trump. Again, a net plus 10. Party support. Hillary has the support of 85% of Democrats in this NBC Wall Street Journal poll and 8% crossover from the GOP side. Trump has 79% of Republicans and a 9% crossover of Democrats. He's seen, he's been consistent with this crossover vote. He tends to get more Democrats for him. It hasn't been at the, at the number he thought so far. Hasn't been at that number. Here's the poll you're going to hear a lot about. This is the ABC WAPO, Washington Post poll. So again, with a grain of salt, this was taken from June 20th to June 23rd, 1,001 adults. Only 836 were actually registered voters. Uh, This is landline and cell phone, plus and minus 3.5% margin of error. Now the breakdown, this is where it gets interesting, the breakdown of these voters. 36% of those polled were Democrats. 24% 24% were Republican, and 33% were Independent. So if you have 12% more Democrats, and you have 33% Independents, <laughs> which direction do you think this poll is going in? I mean, I don't... You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. Of those who are registered to vote... 37% were Democrats, 27% were Republicans, so 10% were Democrats, and 30% were Independent. Hillary in this poll does well. Expectedly 51% to Trump's 39%. When you add in the law firm Johnson and Stein, you're at 47 for Hillary, 37 for Trump, Johnson at 7, Stein at 3. Uh, there is a tremendous amount. I mean, you're talking about 336 
Democrats polled to 240 Republicans. 100 more Democrats. Do you think you're... you're are you going to get a real outcome here? Or are we going to get something that maybe ABC and WAPO want to show you? Remember, WAPO has been restricted from all of Trump's events. They were kicked out. Trump said, if you're not going to write even one nice article about me, why would I even have you here? And then Democrats scream, oh, he's limiting First Amendment. Well, remember when Hillary was in a parade in New Hampshire and she had all the, all the reporters behind rope lines? They couldn't get any closer to her. They are moving the rope line back and back. <laughs> they all do it. They all do it. Um, there are some numbers in this WAPO poll, ABC WAPO. I want to talk about when we come back. And then um, we'll get to your mailbag. And why is Politico saying that nobody wants to speak at the Republican convention this year? I'd gladly speak. You can call me any day you want. I'll speak <laughs> for half an hour there. No problem. Hang in there, guys. Last segment coming up. You're listening to the Rhino Report on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Try Fry Vineyards, the Mendocino County organic wine with no sulfites added. Fry Wines, America's pioneering organic winery. They were the first to go organic, the first maker of certified biodynamic wines in the United States. At Fry Wines, our emphasis is on producing organic wine of the highest quality while caring for our planet and palate alike. Check out our website at frywine.com and join the Fry Vineyards Wine Club. You'll receive 20% off all orders and much more. Plus, you can check out our internet-only specials. Great biodynamic wines from Redwood Valley in Mendocino County, California. Fry Wines. Go to frywine.com. That's F-R-E-Y-W-I-N-E. Fry Wine. F-R-E-Y-W-I-N-E.com. Check it out and enjoy great wines at your home tonight. Let me take just a moment or two, if I may, and talk about a great place to eat. That's right. For you folks anywhere in the eastern San Fernando Valley... Drop in to Bob's Big Boys, that's right, in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. Now, everybody remembers the name Bob's. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. And little old Bob carrying the hamburger in his checkered overalls is the same Bob that you remember from back through the years. And, of course, if you want to go in for a great lunch, remember their classic burger, the original double-deck hamburger combination. Delicious 100% pure ground beef in two patties with American cheese, lettuce, and our famous big boy special sauce. The name is Bob, and I think when you go in, you'll say, by golly, I'm sure glad that I found this restaurant because it's good for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They've got all kinds of things, and all you have to do is remember. Bob's Big Boy in Sun Valley at 8274 Sunland Boulevard. It's a great place to eat. Is your business paying too much for your water? Pure Water Technology provides the world's best fully monitored, self-cleaning, bottleless water purification coolers for your employee drinking water. That's right, I said bottle-less. Because Pure Water Technology can provide you and your employees with a much healthier and cost-efficient alternative than what you're currently using. And we provide free trials. Pure Water Technology has technology unlike any other company. And you can save an average office over 6,000 gallons of water annually. So you can do your part for our California drought, save water, and at the same time have happier, healthier employees. We use new reverse osmosis technology. It's available only through pure water technology. No one else has this system. And we save water, too. Log on to DitchTheBottle.com or call 888-790-7873 for free information and your free trial. 888-790-7873. Call now. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 
4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. This is Jeff Carlisi from the Band 38 Special. Let us never forget that police lives matter. You're listening to the Rhino Report, always right on the RWB Network. The Republicans want to repeal it. You know, they actually, with a straight face, say that the Great Recession was was caused by too much regulation on Wall Street. They actually say that. You know, I remember when, you know, I've I've supported my husband through all of his races in Arkansas. And I, I, one of my favorite, favorite political ads of all time was a radio ad, rural Arkansas, where the announcer said, wouldn't it be great if somebody running for office said something, we could have an immediate reaction as to whether it was true or not? Well, we've trained this dog. And the dog, if it's not true, he's going to bark. And then the dog was barking on the, on the radio. And so, you know, people were, like, barking at each other for days after that. I- I'm trying to figure out how we can do that with the Republicans. You know, we need, we need to get that dog and follow, follow him around. And every time they say these things, like, oh, you know, the Great Recession was caused by too much regulation. Arf, 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 you know? I, I think we could, we could cut right through a lot of their, uh, you know, their claims. All right, guys, welcome back to this last segment of today's show. I want to finish up talking about this ABC WAPO poll. They ask hypothetical questions in this poll right at the top of the poll, and they do it like PPP does, the public policy uh, polling. Uh, terrible. They ask questions like, uh, do you think Republicans are racist? Uh, should the South have won the Civil War? Do you think migrants bring disease with them? They ask all these hypothetical questions before they actually get to the yes or no answers. Uh, that way, they, they try to sway your opinion, but... Here in these hypotheticals, uh, public by a margin of uh, 66 to 29 think uh, Trump is unfairly biased against groups such as women, minorities, and Muslims. And uh, Americans think by a margin of 68 to 28 that his comments about Judge Gonzalo Curiel were racist. Uh, Regardless of whether or not it was racist, 85% in his hypothetical say it was inappropriate. So they ask a bunch of these questions. I don't want to get into too many of them. Uh, It says, while most Americans disapprove of Clinton's handling of her email while Secretary of State, they're equally disenchanted with Trump's handling of questions about Trump University. Yeah, I mean, totally the same thing, right? (laughs) National secrets versus an online course, totally the same thing. (laughs) These, These hypotheticals just show that mainstream media is winning. Their narrative is winning. I mean, you could, uh, it doesn't take much. Do, do you hear them talking much about Hillary Clinton's scandals on TV? The, the answer here is, is, is a resounding no. They, they just don't talk about it. They don't talk about Bill Clinton, but they'll talk about Trump University. That, that is major news. You know, China hacking into emails, Russia hacking into emails, deleted emails. No big, nothing to see here, nothing big. So these hypotheticals just show, they just show that, that mainstream media and their bias is working. Um, but again, in this poll, uh, with well, 120 more Democrats surveyed in this poll of 1,000 people than Republicans, these are the responses you get. So you have to make sure you look at the sampling. And if you see this poll on Fox News or CNN or MSNBC, they will not tell you that. They don't want you to know that. They want you to think Hillary's running away, and they want you to think Trump can't win. That's uh, what this is getting at here. We have a ton of more, ton more statistics here about this poll, but uh, maybe we'll do it tomorrow. We have more time tomorrow. So Politico is saying that uh, no Republicans want to speak at the RNC convention this year. They don't want to go to Cleveland. They don't want to speak. They said they contacted 50, 50 prominent governors, senators, and representatives. Now, who do they consider to be prominent? Who do they consider to be up-and-comer? I mean, um, they say uh, Representative Gowdy, uh, Trey Gowdy out of South Carolina, not going. He's not going. South Carolina Representative Mark Sanford also not going. Wisconsin Representative Sean Duffy will not be in attendance. Florida Representative Carlos Cubello, nope, not going. 
Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner not going. Senator Lindsey Graham, not, I could have told you that. He's not going. <laughs> he hates Donald Trump. Um, South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley says she will not be going. And a Senate Majority Whip John Cornyn says he's not sure if he's going. Uh, he hasn't been asked to speak, though. Um, all right, so what I'm getting here is all of the establishment hacks that don't support Trump, they're not going. Do you think that's going to help Trump, or would it hurt Trump? Which one do you think it would be? The people he's railed against for the last 10 months are going? Surprise, surprise. And this list, Sanford, Duffy, Cabello, Rauner, Graham, Haley, I wouldn't invite these people to my party either. They seem like a bunch of party poopers. I wouldn't want them at my house. What are they going to do? They're going to talk, uh, you know, sit around talking about what they could have done or what they should have done with, with Obama. Nothing. Nothing. These, are, these aren't major players. These are hacks. I wouldn't want them anyway. You know, they would be the ones that brought, like, like the fruit punch to the party. I want the fun people. I don't want these people. All right, guys. That's it for today. As always, a huge thank you to all those serving our country at home and abroad. And a big thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all your hard work. We all depend on you. God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. And until tomorrow, I'm the Rhino, and I'm out. <laughs>